So mail trap, um, it's what you think it is. It traps your mail, so it doesn't go to the wrong people. Um, so my name is Yaroslav Lador. I'm the CEO of Railsware, and um, I'm tweeting from Railsware, but you need a personal account. So have you ever sent uh, emails from staging to real customers? I mean, like, how many of you? Like, okay, how, how many of you send like a thousand emails to the real customers? What about ten thousand? A hundred? No? Oh, yeah, someone sent a hundred. <coughs> yeah, we sent it as well, um, and we love it. We love the feedback of the customers. They, 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 um, they don't hide the emotions, they're real. And they really like it. So imagine like you just got a production database because nobody have seed scripts. Or you have it for the three days, but then it's like, oh, don't use it, just dump the production database. And remove those three tables because they're like t a terabyte size. So everyone does it, and you slice the database a, a little bit, you put it into your application, you remember the customer name, you just want to reproduce one little bug. So what do you do? You, you, you don't remember his password, obviously. You don't know it. So, and if you don't want to bother with console, you're just going to do a forgot password, and you will look it up in the console. That's usual, right? So you click forgot password, you put a real client name, gmail.com in there, you send yourself a, a list, you get like a shit ton of stuff, and with like an eagle eye, you can source where is your reset link that you have to follow. So if you copy the reset link, you put it in the browser, and you're like, well, uh, something went wrong. Oh, yeah, right, it's the quoted printable encoding, you just have to have like two lines, so let's copy it in the editor, change it in the editor, go in, like, oh, shit, what's wrong now? It's quoted printable, it changes the equal sign. All right, okay, so go back, change it again, and it takes around 30 minutes of a developer to explain it to the front-end engineer. It's like, they, they really like it, so. But they have this skill. I mean, like, you should, you should request it on the interview. Like, do you know how to copy uh, uh, quoted printable encoding from the console log? Yeah, I know, okay, this guy, this guy rocks. So. Now, finally, you go in, you put in your great new password, you, you follow the lead, you go into the login page, you sign in, and uh, you get into the dashboard, and you, you need to reproduce your bug. You need to you make your crazy action. So you do your crazy action, and it tells you, hey, dude, you just did a crazy action. And the email notification was sent to the real client uh, email uh, at gmail.com, and you're like, yeah, I'm safe, or maybe not. And you were like, oh, was this email sent to the client? So, and the client opened up his email in the morning. He's like looking at his email box. And you're like, oh, uh, reset password link. Uh, your password reset? Your data was completely wiped from the system. And the customer's like, what the hell is going on? Obviously, if you click in, you will see a local host uh, URL in there. So we actually, we actually got a bit tired of that. And, um, because we, we got stuff like this. This is a real client sending a real email. It, it was a very gentle email. Uh, we sent 10,000 emails uh, to our customers. Just well, Someone was testing some stuff, and you know, it happens. And he was like, you can see the word ASAP in there, and you can figure out like, what, what's the rest there. But he was like, stop the email server, clean it up. So we had to stop the email server, go into the queues, figure out how the email server works, figure out how the queues stored the emails inside of it, and actually it was not, um, I think it was not 10,000, it was like a million. <laughs> so, Mailtrap, what does it do? Mailtrap traps your mail. You just get an instant access, it's like one click, you get in, you, you have a copy-paste, it's a perfect Stack Overflow example of doing things, you just copy-paste it into your Rails, and you get all your emails in here. You can see the email, you can see that seven whatever, kazillion, five, three, five, whatever records were successfully deleted, and you're happy that your action was uh, reproduced. You can see a raw uh, version of it. You can go and share it. It's like access to the domain, so you can share it to your whole company and when they have uh, mail trap credentials. And it's free, because we love doing free stuff. And there's a pivotal booster at the top, because we copy-pasted that. So, Mailtrap traps your mail, go to mailtrap.io, it's like one click, there's, there's nothing easier in this world, and um, just enjoy it.
Thanks, thanks.